I've spent the majority of my life tracking down strange and often creepy obscure media. I work for IFTA, aka the International Federation of Television Archives. So you can assume I've come across some pretty strange things in my line of work, from underground Nazi TV shows to bizarre North Korean propaganda. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff that's out there. However, I can credit one show as being the most disturbing thing I've ever seen, which is saying a lot. It's a Czech show called Slaninko, featuring a disturbing puppet known as Ratafak Placha. Now, it's not the entire show that's so disturbing, but more a particular episode. In fact, I'm sure once I tell you, you probably won't even believe me that it exists. However, that sadly doesn't make it any less real. There's not really all that much known about it. It's confirmed that it was a kid's show back in the 1970s and 80s, but the amount of episodes created is disputed. The show features the long-necked puppet, Ratafak Placha, which is translated as Big Nose Blanket. He speaks with kids about different issues, often giving them wrong or inaccurate information about things. The part where it becomes a bit suspicious is when you find out that there hasn't been any attempt to archive or maintain the show for the future. I think most people who do still know of its existence want nothing more than to try to forget it and let it fade into obscurity. Unfortunately, due to YouTube, that will not be possible. There are clips of it floating around all over the place now. Although the ones on YouTube don't show the real reason, I find it so disturbing. See, a few years back, my organization acquired a Betamax tape from a somewhat shady connection in the Czech criminal underworld, which he was claiming was a banned episode of Slaninko, where a murder had occurred. As soon as we received the tape back at the office, I asked for approval to view this and verify his claims. This will remain one of the greatest regrets in my life. Immediately upon pressing play, I had this feeling that I'd come across something truly evil. It turns out, the tape not only contained several segments of the murder of children on it, it seemed as though it was outlining some sort of process in which to bring a demonic being into the world. In each of the segments on the tape where killing occurred, it would begin with the standard stage setting where the Ratafak puppet would be standing in front of a number of school children. He'd be rambling about something nonsensical until somewhat out of nowhere, he'd ask the children in check which of the kids in their class was most impure. After some moments of awkwardness, the kids would collectively decide on somebody sitting near them, and whoever would get the most votes cameras would focus on. Although the kid would sit there, terrified, a laugh track would play, and it just kept going and going, as if urging the child to get up and approach Ratafak. The chosen one would then be guided up onto the stage, and step up in front of several colored buckets full of sand. Ratafak would then lay the kid down and tie their hands and legs to these rings on the stage. Then he would pick up the bucket of sand and asked the children to follow along with him in the ceremony. Ratafak then began speaking another language, which we have not been able to fully translate to this day. However, experts have their theories. The translation is as follows. Rid us of the rotten ones. Give us strength to grow. Bring to us the forgotten, the evil from below. Ratafak then began to pour the bucket of sand onto the face of the child slowly choking them. The child would often turn their head and writhe, struggling. Eventually, after he'd poured all the buckets of sand onto the child's face, the thrashing would cease. And that was when he began his dance, the one which still haunts my memory to this day. He began to stomp his feet back and forth, repeating twice on the left and once on the right. While he did this, his arms alternated up and down, almost like the wave that you see people do at sports games. Only his long neck and wide open mouth would alternate in the opposite direction of each hand. Then after a few moments, the children on stage would follow in the ominous ritual until the laugh track echoed in from off screen again. There were 10 segments of this on the tape and all of them were strangely similar, only the children in the segments changed. After viewing the tape, I returned it to the company 
and it was submitted for an official criminal investigation. Although considering the crimes happened close to 50 years ago and in a different country, I wasn't sure how much would really happen. Unfortunately, this was not the last I heard of the tape. Since then, there have been bootlegs made of the episode with the murders on it, which began to explode on the dark web. I suppose that was all to be expected, but what came next for me was something entirely different. My wife and kids told me they began to notice I was becoming distant after viewing the tape. I didn't really notice, but I guess it was possible that I was just processing the atrocities which I'd seen. This started taking a toll on my sleep, often due to my mind replaying the image of Ratafak and his horrific dance as soon as I would lay down to close my eyes. I don't know if it was the lack of sleep or what, but that was when things really started spiraling out of control for me. I came home from work one day, and at the front door there was a red bucket of sand sitting there. No one close to me knew what was on the video, except for my wife, and I assumed she must have snapped and decided to play a cruel joke on me. I felt completely betrayed, considering she knew how much the video had affected me. We got in a huge screaming match that night, and she ended up taking the kids to go stay at her mother's house. At the time, I was so upset with her that I didn't even care. Only later that night, I'd find out she had nothing to do with it after all. I was getting ready for bed and brushing my teeth when I thought I heard something fall from out in the hallway. I peeked out there expecting to see something on the floor maybe, but there was nothing. Then I heard footsteps in the attic. I realized they were those same horrific pounding footsteps and the strange stomping pattern that Ratafak had used during his dance. Then came the echo of a laugh track from somewhere in the house. Horrified, I took off running into the night, literally not even bothering to put shoes on, only it didn't seem there was any way to escape him. I just kept running down dark empty street after dark empty street, with the echo of the stomping slowly approaching. I finally turned the corner and witnessed the silhouette of Ratafak at the other end of the street. His disturbingly wide frame and long giraffe-like neck gazed down at me as I froze in fear. The moonlight reflected off his wide open, slightly crooked jaw. It was flapping open and closed as he spoke that horrific lost language from the tape. Suddenly the headlights from my wife's car turned down the street. She had showed up with a mental health counselor and the police. Apparently after the severity of our fight, she was afraid I might do something drastic. I didn't care who they were, as long as they could get me away from that thing. I've been in a facility for about three months now, and there hasn't been a night that Ratafak hasn't been there. He gazes at me as I try to go to sleep, and when I see him I can't move or feel anything. His long neck just about reaches the ceiling and arches forward as he towers over my helpless body and all I can do is wait to see what else he does, only he never does anything, at least not yet. He just stands there, holding a bucket of sand as if about to subject me to the same fate that he did to those kids all those years ago. And sometimes, I wish he would, if not to just end this suffering. I can't be sure why it was that he took an interest in me. I don't think I was even the only one to view the tape. But perhaps he just chooses who he wants to follow. All I know is that if you ever get a chance to see that banned tape online, do not take it. I assure you, the darkness within it is something you can't unsee. Hey, it's Mr. Freaky. I hope you enjoyed that original creepypasta. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you really want to help me make my content more regular, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the description below as well as the pinned comment. Have a horrific evening, everyone. And remember to stay spooky, my friends.